Hey, what's happening guys? Today, we are going to make our own boost converter. Pretty cool, right? So here's our circuit. We're going to start with a 5 volt source. And then an inductor. and then a switch and then in parallel with this we're going to have a diode and a capacitor and in parallel with all that, we are going to have our load. So the inductor that we're going to use is five micro Henry's. We're going to use a 1N4007 diode and a 33 microfarad capacitor which is 25 volt. And for our switch, we are going to use a MOSFET. It is a IRFZ34N. All right, so the way the boost converter works is it has two states, switch open, switch closed. So when the switch is closed, the current can flow through the inductor, charging it up, building up a magnetic field. And then when the switch is open, the current can no longer flow through here. So it has to flow through our flyback diode here. And through there, it can charge the capacitor. And since we're in parallel, it also goes to the load. So what happens when this switch is open and we're charging the capacitor and powering the load, we have our energy here from, in this case, it's going to be just a little power supply. And we have our stored energy here. And since they are in series, they increase. You get five volts plus what the inductor stored. And if we can open and close this switch fast enough, well, that's where the magic happens. Because the inductor will never fully discharge, the capacitor will never fully discharge. And when the switch is closed and the inductor is flowing, the load will be powered from the capacitor. It's a beautiful thing. So let's take a look at what I've put together for us here. Let's zoom in a bit. All right, here's our circuit. We have our five volts coming in from the power supply. Ignore this for right now. Then we have our inductor getting the positive load. And then here is our MOSFET, which is the switch. And then here's our diode and our capacitor. And finally, our load. Now, in order to turn the MOSFET on and off fast enough, we need something to drive it. So in this case, I'm just using a 555 timer with a 10 puff capacitor and a 50K pot, and it's trimmed out so that we are getting about 500 kilohertz frequency. So 500,000 times a second, this MOSFET is going to switch 
our inductor on and off and charge up our circuit. Now the inductor, I wound myself. I know it ain't beautiful, but it works. If you want to see how I did it, watch this. So I didn't count exactly how many turns are on here, but it's about 14 feet of 30 gauge enameled copper wire. So if we put it into the tester here and have a look, see, uh, you turn off a couple of these lights so you can better see that screen. There, now you can see it better. You see we're getting about four and a half or so micro Henry's. And that's good enough for quite a boost, which you're about to see. Okay, so the output from the 555 timer triggers the gate of the MOSFET. The drain is coming from the inductor and the source goes to ground. Now a MOSFET isn't like a regular transistor. When you turn it on, it tends to stay on. So I've got a 10K resistor pulling it to ground so that when the signal is not on, it will go to ground and it will be off. All right, we've got everything hooked up and ready to roll here. And no, there is no power onto the circuit. And you're seeing about a half a volt here, and that is coming from this capacitor, which I keep draining. And it likes to build up another little charge there. All right, so everything is hooked up. We are putting five volts in. And we are getting a little over 22 volts out, 23. Now that, my friends, is a boost converter. And the reason it's climbing is because I don't have um, a load on it. Let's put a load on it here. I thought I had a... Hold on, right back. Right, there we go. We got a 100K load on there with that little resistor right there. And we have reached a steady voltage of about 29 volts. That's an impressive little boost converter considering that it's getting five volts in and it's taking what? Two milliamps. So there you go. That's your learning for today. Now go make your own boost converter. And if you do, leave a comment down below and tell me how it did. I really want to know. If you like this, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment and share. And I will see you guys next time. I'm out.